Now, I ain't one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speak. Child, it seems like if Monique was getting paid for Instagram and radio appearances, Chad, she will already surpassed Amy Schumer on that $13 million deal. Monique and Cindy called in to the Time to Join a Morning Show yesterday to talk about what's going on with them and Netflix. I also clear up some rumors, and it seems like they also answered some questions with some questions. So someone from K. Michelle's fan club said, Monique, why did you answer all the questions with the question on Tom Joyner? I would like to see you in Sydney on the Queen's Court pulling that mess. Monique responded, hey, my beautiful sister, listen again. We would love to go on Queen's Court and answer all questions possible. Hey, my loves. I am asking that you stand with me and boycott Netflix. Monique, for we are not boycotting and Netflix. Colorized. I like Netflix. I was offered $500,000 for Netflix. I cut my cable off because of Netflix. I ain't going to However, Amy Schumer was offered $11 million. AT&T give me free Netflix for my phone plan. I ain't cutting off Netflix. Then we said, well, what about my resume? They said, we don't go off of resume. Then we asked them, what was it about Amy Schumer? And they said, well, she knew he was a legend too. Why should I give him the legends again? Now, both T.S. Madison and Kaya said that they would definitely be down to do the interview. Would you guys be willing to watch? So, you know, the whole the whole thing, I mean, I understand you knowing your worth. And, and I think that's 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 very, very you know important to say, know, know your worth. And I also say, no, where you are. Do you think the reason why they may have come back at you and or, or lowballed you because maybe you've been out of the game for a minute and and now coming back they want to see your work? Because I heard they wanted you to audition or do a set to see what your your set was. Because from what I understand, Amy Schumer's uh, set they paid her a lot of money and it wasn't it didn't reach the level that they thought it would reach. So you think they were trying to do that with you? Well, let me ask you something, guy, because you make a good point. When you say out of the game, what do you mean out of the game? Just that uh, you 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 stopped doing stand up for a minute and then and then you started coming back. That's what I mean. You not completely out of the game, but you you know you were off the scene for a minute. You weren't doing clubs and shows, and then you know you made a comeback, which we were all happy to see because like you know we need more black funny stand up women. So we was happy to see you come back. Well, so that's what I mean. Here's where it gets funny. I never left. Okay. See, when I was doing the Monique show, we were doing the tour. Spread right. the love tour, remember? Right. We were doing the big theaters. So I never stopped doing stand up. So it makes me laugh when I'm hearing you say, I hear Tony Rock say, she left the game. It's like if you go back through my record, I've never stopped doing stand up. Was there any amount that was higher than the $500,000 that you have told us about? In the well, Sybil. If there were, what we're saying to people, prove us wrong and show the email. The only thing that was offered was $500,000, and then they came back, which we had the email, and said, once we got together as a team, we're going to stay where we are with the number. So now we have those emails. But if John Mary, if Netflix, or maybe John Doe has an email that says, <laughs> no, we offered Monique $3 million. Good morning, Monique, as a fan. Looking on from the outside, not knowing the industry, every time that something seems not to go your way, it seems like you want to protest about it. And trying to understand how do you think the companies and entertainers feel trying to work with you with that? Well, that's a great question. And when you say something doesn't go my way, what specifically have you heard me protesting about that something didn't go my way so I can address it? Well, so like last year, there was comments made in the media, because like I said, I'm on the outside looking in, about you uh -huh. um, talking about Tyler Perry and Oprah. And now that Netflix is offering you a certain amount of money, I mean, it's like me and my job. They offer me a certain amount of money, I'm either going to take it or go somewhere else and get a job. Right. That's understandable, Miles. But however, when they offer us a certain amount of money and we know that it's an unfair amount and we keep just moving on, they keep on just making those offers. Hey, Teresa. Hey, love bug. Got a question. This shouldn't Come on, take baby. Long at all. This shouldn't take long. I got, I got a quick question. I should, my question to you, Monique, I like it. But my question to you is, is 80% of the people that I work with, we say the same thing. Why should broke people care about rich people financial problems? <laughs> oh, baby. Let me, let me I, I, have... I just want to know, why should we care about rich people problems, when, financial problems, when we ain't making nothing? We get Netflix give us 30, 30 days free. We looking at, Monique 
man gave us none. Oh. But let, oh. let me let me have it answered for you. But I want to have Sydney answer it because I think you'll understand his way a little better than mine. L let me have him answer it for you, baby. I appreciate you I, asking. I, I never thought I'd understand Monique's way. Let me tell you my way. If 80% of the people on your job is saying, check this out, why would poor people care about rich people's problems? See, this has nothing to do with poor and, and rich. This has everything to do with equality. Equality. So if on your job, 80% of y'all are being mistreated, is that what I'm hearing from you? Oh. Uh I'm sorry, we lost Teresa, but... So let's have a conversation about this down below. I want to know if your views on Monique and this Netflix situation has changed at all. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. You know what? See, I think you... I think you're trying me. I'm not even watching it. I think you're really trying to fuck with me. you fucking with my money. And you're going to stand up there and look down at me like you're a mother. Woman, I'm gonna show you what real women do, bitch. You don't know what real motherfucking women do. Real motherfucking women sacrifice. You ain't shit. And you had that smirk on your face, bitch. You will kill now smile about that. Smile about that, you bad bitch. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell for notifications. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.